everybody, it's Miss Jacqueline here with our tween craft for this week. We're celebrating all kinds of different types of art. And this week we're gonna be doing one for tweens that involves string and it's very abstract, so it can really turn into whatever you want it to turn into. Um, you're going to get a paper plate. You're going to get a uh, paint pots that have six different neon colors in it. And you're also going to get a piece of cardstock and a string. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to pour your paint out around the inside edge of your plate in a circle and your string will be long enough to go around the whole inside of that circle. Now, you're going to put your string into the paint like so. I'm using my finger, but you can also use a paintbrush. And once you have it into the paint, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you cover the entire string with paint. And we have all different colors and you can do it in any order that you like. Uh, you know, there's pink, there's blue, there's orange, there's like a yellowy color and a green color and an orangey color. So really cool. All right, so you keep doing that until you get around to here. Alright, so your next step is you're going to pull up your string and you're going to place it on your paper in whatever shape that you would like. Now you can be very, you know, thoughtful about it or you can just kind of see where the string likes to place itself. Sometimes it has a mind of its own and does its own thing. So I left a tiny little bit of the string kind of sticking out of the paper so that we can do the last step for it. And what you're gonna do is you're going to fold your piece of paper. Also, I have some paint on my fingers, so I'm trying not to, to get that everywhere. Then you're going to fold your piece of paper across so that it's over top of your piece of string. You're going to press it down nice and flat. And then your last step while you hold your piece of paper down is to pull your string out of the paper like so. And there we go. And you can put that back on the plate because you can do this again with another piece of paper if you'd like to because there'll be plenty of paint. And then what you will have in the end is a design that repeats on both sides. It may look like this, but it might not. It might look like something very different. Um, they may look like flowers to you. It depends. Um, I have one that I created yesterday that looks like this. And then I also have ones where I did not pull the string out. I just folded it with the string in. So it's a little bit more flat. So you can choose to do it that way as well. Um, there's really no right or wrong way to do this. And I hope you have a lot of fun with it and we would love to see what your creations turn out like. And also we would love to even guess what it is or what you guys think it might look like. So I hope you have lots of fun and we'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.